I, I'm terrible at accents. You are? Yeah. I mean, I could do them, but only because it's funny. Uh, do a Mexican accent. <laughs> uh, see, I don't know. <laughs> Like define it. What's a me- what does a Mexican accent sound like, Zach? I want to know. No, there's variations. <laughs> you're Mexican. I started yeah. off with home base. Oh, okay. So. Well, I don't know. Like uh, I know you like me doing. Oh, mijo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, Zach gave me the yes eyes. <laughs> yes, that's what I want. I want more of that. <laughs> How could you betray me, oh? mijo? Come here, mijo. Mijo. <laughs> I'm gonna sit down right here. I'm gonna sit right down right here. Like all my uncles. I'm pretty much channeling like 80 percent of my uncles. <laughs> Like the ones that were all drunk, but they were all drunk. They were uh, uncles. In honor of Anthony Irwin, how about a Texas accent? Uh, oh, <laughs> do, no, I was going to say not do what now. Do what's now more of like a Southern, just like, because uh, I used to do phone sales, and we always, every time you hear uh, talking to somebody in the <laughs> South, they're just like, do what now? <laughs> and are like, oh, I'm sorry. I know I was asking uh, if you're the owner, homeowner of that. Do, what? what? Do what now? Like, or like, like, uh, <laughs> it never occurred to me that they do that, but that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, they go, do what now? Do, do what now? Do what now? Do, do what now? Do you mean, uh, I beg your pardon? Like, that's like, you know, that's the, that's the, that's the southern. I My beg favorite your people from the south is the way they pronounce water. It's also kind of like New York, but they like pronounce it with a U. It's like, it's like, I was taking a sip from my water. <laughs> so they're like, water? Like, what? what? Like, I used to talk to the What? <laughs> what? What the hell, Zachary? <laughs> water. You... I used to, like, one of my friends is actually in uh, Atlanta. And, like, she would be like, she has the sweetest voice. It's like the voice of an angel. And then she would just be like, oh, Zach, you wouldn't believe it. The other day, I went to a swimming pool in the water. It was so warm. <laughs> it's just like, water. <laughs> Me and Chad would, uh, one time. <clears throat> We were driving back down from like Washington. We had a gig up there. Uh-huh. And we we're coming through California, and uh, and it was like through like really northern California. But I remember, or maybe it was in Texas, or no, when we were in Arizona, I can't remember. But I just remember there was someone that showed up with a text with a with a very heavy southern accent. Like we we're flirting with the Starbucks lady, and then her husband happened to walk in, and we just started pretending like what he would sound like because we heard him. He was like, "No damn it, woman, what are you talking to these damn Mexicans for?" And it's like it's only me. And like, it's like, but like Chad had it down so well. He's like, "Oh damn it, woman, <laughs> you what cheating our nation? Yeah. You cheating on me? <laughs> you think you're better than me?" <laughs> it's just so funny. So like I feel, but now it's just like you know, after being in the South for so many times, like anytime I hear a Southern accent, I'm like, "Okay, something's racist about." to be said let's go like, here we go i've heard it all i've seen it all like yeah hey do you want to go with me to atlanta next month next month that's a little too close okay all right i, I tried uh <laughs> lakers Wait, what, what are we doing in atlanta um i have a friend who's also in the strip club i was the, just gonna say are we was, getting lemon pepper wings i she used to work at that <laughs> the strip club yeah like, it's uh, the mag- was it the magic what was it called magic? magic city magic city yeah yeah i'm uh, not I no, like I. Eh, By the way, are, I never yeah. knew this. Um, she posted about this. Like it was like her strip club was now hiring. Oh, and like it, it was like a funny caption at the bottom. But in the freaking, they were like, you can make up to two hundred fifty thousand. I'm like, yo, I understand <laughs> every girl that decides to do OnlyFans now. Like I understand. Like if I was a girl, go get yours. Hey, uh, you know what? Like uh, a lot of people like to shun like sex work or just you know we have friends in the business. You know, yeah. um, you know, like I said, uh, you know, uh, one of our good friends, uh, Sylvia Sage. Uh, you know, and and it, it, there's nothing wrong with that. It, it, it just sucks that's been you know shunned upon and that sort of thing. But hey, you can there's there's an audience for everything. You get money, you could make your own money, you could carve your own path. Do it, like who like, you, know? you know. You just gotta show your feet. That's it. Yeah, feet has. This, <laughs> you can make good money showing your feet. And guys are dumb. Remember, like we'll we'll give you anything. Five bucks at a time. Yeah, it doesn't Times. even have to be your feet. <laughs> I Google it. <laughs> but just I mean, Google like, feet. Post it. It's like it's like I'm showing my face as a girl, but then like it's some black girl's feet. It's like <laughs> my you know, back in the day when uh, <laughs> like in my twenties, I would do that. They'd be like, "Oh, send me a pic," and I'd Google it. But I'd do it like you know, someone of the opposite race than me, and then I send it to them anyway. They're like, "Oh," <laughs> and then like the it. I'm like, "Oh, this guy's an idiot." <laughs> There's a woman that Zach, both Zach and I know, who's uh. I would say a C-list celebrity, and for a long time, she made good money selling her panties. Really? I could see that. Worn and all that, huh? Yeah. Yeah, they do that. Kind of, I, I, look at eBay. Well, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I think they take that stuff. But enough the about Rosie O'Donnell, Mike. <laughs> 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 um, anyways, Lakers are playing the Kings tonight, 19-19 and 19 versus 16-22. and 22. Uh, And then also, they play the Hawks later on on Friday this week. I'm trying not to get my hopes up with them. I'm not either. I'm still trying to be like emotionally unavailable to them. And others, but <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> we'll see the Lakers though. 
Uh, I just want to get hurt. I see this and I'm like, oh, okay. Can we can we start getting excited? Maybe. I mean, I know Russ had like a triple, another triple double. Yeah. But he was like minus nine still or something like that. Oh, he still has nine turnovers. Uh, he had nine turnovers, and that's the thing. Okay, so the Lakers before Frank Vogel tested positive were on a roll, and then yeah. like they kind of were on a losing streak. And so I really felt as if, if you remember, like even though they didn't exactly play good against the Dallas Mavericks, yeah. Austin Reeves hit that three, and it felt like a critical time where the season was changing. Um, and then Austin Reeves, the next game, tested positive. So I really think when it comes to just having that regular rotation, having everybody there. Frank Vogel, by the way, I don't like Fizdale at all. Dude, person. he's proving that he is not the one for sure. Yeah, so like, if you ever thought he was the person to for soap or for serp the throne of Frank Vogel, then I you're – Crazy. I remember there was a moment uh, in time when I was watching him in New York, and I was like, hmm, I wonder if this guy's a good candidate. Because yeah, I think the, the Knicks were doing okay at that time. And I was like, hmm, because I remember we were like, looking for a coach. But now that he's there, and I'm like, Ugh, yeah, no, 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 no. So yeah. I think, uh, for now, I'm not saying Frank Vogel deserves coach of the year. I'm not saying Frank Vogel is even the top five head coach. But at the same time, like I see the importance of Frank Vogel for the season to turn around momentum. -wise. Absolutely. I, I, and I feel that's going to happen. I mean, it's just the other obstacle, the outside obstacles aside from like basketball, which sucks because it's just the world that we live in currently. Hopefully that ends soon, but until now, it's or you know for right now at least, um, you know that's the the hand that we're dealt with. So I, I I feel like the Lakers are slowly turning it around. I think they're figuring it out. Uh, they are playing a little bit more tighter. I feel like a little bit more aggressively. So it's like especially with Russ, it's like oh sh you know he's actually like not being as bad, but it's like I statistically he's always started off bad on every team he started with. So I'm you know putting my money on that. But at the same time, it's like, you know, maybe it's true. Maybe he isn't, like, this, the, the superstar he once was. I mean, obviously, I, would you say he's not anymore? Um, I think – all right, this is something that um, – who's the guy that's on yeah. Fox Sports 1? Someone just said that. Uh, oh, uh, he's the guy – Zach. Zach Lowe? No. Um, I know he Mike, said who's the guy that's very annoying? He's the guy with glasses. He's on Fox Sports 1. He sometimes fills in. He's actually a frequent guest on The, the Herd. Um. I think he's Arab. I, 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 can't, I forget his name. But anyways, the point that I'm trying to make is this guy made a very good point when he was talking to Colin Coward, and he was like, look, Russell Westbrook, when he's on a crappy team, like he didn't even say crappy like that. I'm paraphrasing. Yeah. But like, he was like, when he's on a crappy team, he has the ability to make people around him better. The only problem is when you put him with other superstars, he doesn't, he's not able to compensate as well as he can. Yeah. With another team and so i that's the problem when you ask him to be like hey play with anthony davis hey play with lebron james it's just like no i'm somebody that can help elevate other people's games for sure so i think if you do trade russell westbrook i'm not saying you should trade him right now but mm -hmm. if you trade him to the houston rockets if you trade him to the washington wizards i'm just naming teams here detroit pistons i'm pretty sure he will win just as many games with that crappy team as he has with the lakers when um, we're not fully healthy. Yeah, I see that. To be honest, I do see that because it's like, plus everyone will like kind of listen and do as he says because he's who will be the vet on that team, or I guess you know, or the the you know a captain pretty much on this team. It's like he's you know three tiers down. So is it like the Kuzma effect? I mean, did you see Kuzma drop like thirty six the other night? Yeah, but I think that's with Kuzma. It's a roller coaster. So you're gonna have like that one good game, and then like the next game he's gonna come yeah, he's back not consistent. Him. But with Russ, it's like ah oh, man. It's, I, I, I want to say, yeah, I guess that's kind of correct because uh, every team that he's been on that have been crappy, he has been the best, you know. But, I mean, that's just, you know, it's, it's – that's tough. I, I still want to root for Westbrook, to be honest. Like, that's why it's hard for me to be like, no, he's got to go. I still want to buy his jersey because the fact that Westbrook's a Laker, it's still uh, exciting for me. And I still want him to do well. Nick Wright was the person I was thinking of. Nick oh, Wright. Okay. Uh, okay. Nick Wright mentioned – so that was the idea that I, I was thinking of. But – um. Yeah, I, I like Westbrook still, but just not as a Laker. Yeah, I like him on another team. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of other teams, uh, so Rajon Rondo got traded to the Cavs. Um, this is what happened. So the Lakers got Denzel Valentine. Uh -huh. and some NBA fans were mocking the Lakers for thinking that they were going to keep him. That wasn't the case. The Lakers traded him to the Knicks, and that means the Lakers now have an open roster spot. Who else but to sign the person that's 10 days 
contract expired. Nick Young, ladies and gentlemen. Swaggy P is back. You heard it here first. I'm kidding. <laughs> Stanley Johnson. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I figured that. <laughs> Stanley Johnson. Stanley Johnson. He did, didn't he start this last game too? He did. How did he do? He did well. No, the Timberwolves. Um, okay, scoring wise, he did not do well, but defensive wise, he did. Yeah. Well. Okay. Um, obviously, the problem with the Wolves and the Lakers was the, the they got out rebounded. Literally, it yeah. was like I want to say fifty two to twenty six. Lakers got Ooh. that, so double the amount of rebounds. Uh, Dwight Howard and um, Dwight Howard and DeAndre Jordan did not play a minute because they want to play small. Right. So LeBron James, and I guess this is like the downside. This is obviously the weakness coming into per play. Carl Anthony Towns didn't even play. Really? Carl Anthony Townsend in play. That's right. They had a uh, Reed and playing in for him. So this was the downside of seeing how the small lineup can match up with bigs like that. Yeah, I don't know about that. I still, I don't know. I'm old school. I still feel like you know. I feel like it's more effective, right? If you have taller players. <laughs> I, if you could find a center that is very um, agile and athletic. Oh, I mean, like a uh, Anthony Davis. <laughs> That could no, but he doesn't play center. He, oh, he LeBron only plays James. Teams. LeBron James. <laughs> yes, actually, he should st- just keep staying playing it. Hey, if if AD wants to play at the four and have LeBron play at the five, he's kind of built for the five. Yeah, but I, I also think the huge reason why this team is turning things around is because of Stanley Johnson. You think so? I want to say here. I'm not sure. Here we go. It doesn't. Here we go. Zach. I want to be the president of the Stanley Johnson fan club. Put it in here first. Stanley Johnson, because it sounds like a, I don't know, I feel like his name sounds like a sales name. Like Stanley Johnson. Stanley Johnson. I don't know, I feel like, you know. You do what now? You what? I'm Stanley Johnson, you hear? Vote for me. <laughs> what was that? What was that? <laughs> do what now? <laughs> do what now? Stanley Johnson said, what, do what now? Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's just, I mean, it just, you know, the name Stanley Johnson. You don't think of, uh, you know, you just, I, I, I feel Stanley Johnson just. You know, without even knowing who he is, just I hear the name and I just think I don't know, a car salesman. Well, it's funny you say that because he went to Stanford, uh-huh. so I can imagine him walking up to grab his diploma, and they're like, everybody, uh, they're like, next step, Stanley Johnson, and everyone's applauding, and they just see this tall guy that's as big as the mascot <laughs> walking on stage. They're like, who the hell is that guy? Wait, d- uh, does he know Stanley Johnson? <laughs> I think he might know Stanley Johnson. 